along a stretch of East 61st. Good ideas. I'm surprised. Good words are in the air. Oh, this is the Soulful Chicago Book Fair. Asana Kirkland started the fair four years ago, noting that black authors. Lorraine Hansberry was raised right down the block. Even those from the same area as famous writers like Lorraine Hansberry did not have the outlets so many others do. And so that's what this is about. Our stories for us, for our benefit. For writers like Regina Alston from Richmond, Virginia, and her children's book, Lena's Adoption. Day. Who's Lena? Lena is me. It's my story growing up in foster care. Well, this fair means a lot. Each child has a different story, but Lena just tells mine. So I wanted to share my story with little children. And Lena's eight years old, so the story begins with her at eight. Just down the street. Dear Diary, Lily and I are in search of food. We found locals like Aurora and Nyla and her book. The Princess Diary. It's about a princess who's trying to save her parents from an evil that wants to steal happiness from their world. So many stories are here. Access to bookstores is limited, if not non-existent. Ones that Charles Young, in St. Louis, Washington, D.C., travels the country to share for adults and for kids. This is my $10 clearance table, so we want to make sure that you know, we keep things affordable. <laughs> Including Pecan Pie Baby. It's one of Charles's top picks by author Jacqueline Woodson. She's written books from pre-K all the way up to adult, and her images are very vivid. It's vital that young folks, as well as adults, have images like said, that look like themselves, and it opens up a whole world. Words from a community to a community. You can actually do something that uplifts people. And if you could see the residents, like a little later when the residents really come out, I'm talking about the B-boys with the hanging pants, when they go, oh my God, what is this in my neighborhood? And they feel so proud that instead of police cars, they have authors coming through their box. Instead of arguments, we have oration. You know what I'm saying? It's just a beautiful thing. In Woodlawn, Sean Lewis, 